kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Here's Tatum. The shot comes out. Great D that time from Bain. Tatum's gone one for three on the night. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Jones misses. The Celtics have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. And it's Tatum with the three. Give him eight points now. No second thoughts from Tatum. Just look, he's ready. Williams from long range. Outside Jones. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. Jones has got six in the quarter. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. With the score, the Grizzlies, 18. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. I guess Shaq's not here today. If your name is Kenny the Jet Smith, raise your hand, please. Here. And I'm Kevin Harlan. Out in front of the half is Boston. They have an eight-point lead. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? You guys know I appreciate when a team takes a commitment to And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Tyus Jones really making a difference here. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. And let's see if the D adjusts make life a little more difficult on him. When it comes to the Grizzlies, a lot of this season is about erasing the memory of their playoff loss last year. It was a disappointing end to their season. So the Celtics five right now. Smart and White make up the backcourt. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum, they're the forwards. And it's Horford in at the five. And the foul on Steven Adams. That's his first foul of the game. Tatum finds Brown, now Smart. Pass to Tatum. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got six rebounds here tonight. But with Memphis's 2021-2022 season, it still has to be considered a success, right? Yeah, I think it was a successful season. But as a whole, this young team, they won their division. But the hopes were so much higher going into the postseason than just the second round. Oh, Tatum, Tatum slams it home. Oh, this is how aggressive Tatum is. Excellent job of getting to the rim and a finish. Just light work. They get it again. Outside for Moran. The three from Bain. Jackson, the pass to Adams. Back to Jackson. Outside Bain. Fires the three. Sinks it from distance. Bain's got six here in the quarter. The Celtics with the lead. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Smart. Adams comes with a double. Over to the left wing. Clock at six. Fires from deep. White can't hit. Surprising to see him miss here. But they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Jackson. Pass to Brooks. Bain with it. Warford covering. Let's a three fly. That one's good from Bain on the assist by Brooks. Bain's got 16 points. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever make a business decision? Yeah, B.A., you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. Now here's Bain. He's got 16. And again, it's the Grizzly from deep. Now he's in his bag 
from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. And here's Brown for three. Austin again missing. And he does it right in his face. This is how you answer a three with a three. Just merciless. Well, you have to be impressed with the constant growth we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He's put in a lot of work to become an all-star player. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Pritchard's checked in for Smart. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Brown passes to Griffin. Outside Brogdon. Parries it from three. He has seven. A legitimate threat beyond the arc. Brogdon's sense for when to shoot from there is outstanding. Pass to Bain. This one for three. And again, it's the Grizzly from deep. And that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Free throw drops for Williams. Williams has checked in for Boston. And that's good as he hits both shots. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Adams finds Bain. Three-pointer. Drops in the three. Bain's got 28 points for the game. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. Pass to Williams. Shot from 12. The offensive rebound. Williams passes to Brown. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Making his presence known with that spot. Jackson Jr. understands when to go after blocks. The three from Bain. Good. And the setup by Moran. Moran's got three assists now in this one. Love the energy here in the third. Trying to take control now of this contest. Yes, this is a pivotal moment in this game. Those extra possessions right now, they just mean a little bit more. Desmond Bain getting it done for Memphis. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. Back to the game after this break. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. And for the defense, it's so tough to guard a big man with that kind of court vision and dime dropping ability. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Payne and Brooks out on the wing. Then it's Steven Adams. Then there's Ja Morant. And it's Aldama in at the four-man position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. The three from Payne. Connects again from distance. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. White against Bain. Pass to Smart. Outside, Brown. And the bucket is good. Muscling that one in. JP is a strong individual. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You know, that's the kind of play that can really start a run. He knows a little momentum can get them back even. From deep, Bain. Outside for Brooks. Now here's Moran. From deep, Bain. Pass to Eldama. Back to Adams. Outside Bain. From the arc. Nails it from three. Bain's got six points in the quarter. Woo! That man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go on to the next. Gotta at least show a little heart out here. And Boston.
Austin calls time here. Well, Richard, 17 years for you as a player. If you were to give some advice to someone starting their playing career right now, what do you think that would be? Oh, it would always be get your routine down. Get your pregame routine. Get your summer routine. You've got to figure out what it is that makes your game work. Because it's hard as you get older. NBA careers don't last very long. But if you put your routine, you put your game first, everything else will fall in line. Clark has checked in for Memphis. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Jason Tatum comes in for Williams. All right, let's get a report from Ellie. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what the Celtics head coach was saying to the team. It wasn't feel good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them, if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. Okay, thank you, Ali. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. From deep, Bain. Good. And the setup by Morant. Morant's got four assists in the game. And their strategy is obvious. Manufactured looks from outside the arc. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. You just keep letting it rain. Brown can't hit. The Grizzlies have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Three-pointer, Brooks. And again, it's Memphis with a three. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Grizzlies. They never gave up when they were down earlier. Forced their way back into this game. And look at them now. And this one was all about desire. The perseverance of never doubting your teammates or the game plan. I mean, I love what they did here tonight. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Desmond Bain. And he was getting buckets all night long, giving the defense that work. Three-pointer. That one's good. Desmond Bain for three. He's got 46. Their focus has been terrific. They really put on a clinic here today. The opposition had no answer for them. The way they attacked them relentlessly was so impressive, and that was a good win. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. On the wing, Brooks. 4-3. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Brooks from outside. He's off on that one. 32 seconds left to play in the fourth. And here's Brown for three. It's rebounded by Memphis. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Brooks from outside. Sinks the tray. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. It's always nice to perform like this, especially in front of the faithful home crowd. Left side, White. Grizzlies foul. Stephen Allen. His third personal foul. Second team. And he knocks down the first one. Shooting for Boston. Derek White. White hits them both. Five ticks left in the game. Yep, it's good. Hey guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just had the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. And so Memphis takes this one by a big margin. Showing that they're the far 